Hello everyone, Hi. so today Iris and I are going to be talking about pencil control, pencil grip, how to hold a pencil correctly. A lot of you guys yesterday when we made a video on how to teach your children sight words, you saw this little pencil grip that I had um, Iris using and you wanted to know how I teach children to hold a pencil correctly. So I thought, let me quickly make that video because it's really easy and we can just really quickly tell you um, how we do it. Okay, so um, in the beginning, a child is going to be holding the pencil like this. This is how Iris loves to hold her pencil. And in the beginning, when they're one, they might go like this. Then they might proceed to go on like this. Then they might change naturally to holding it more like this. Different ways. Um, but you really want to emphasize and you want to teach your children when they turn around four, three and a half, four, on how you really hold the pencil. That's really important. Why? Because if the child gets into the bad habit of holding the pencil incorrectly, this is going to cause pain um, as it causes stress on the joint of the hand. Um, it also going, is going to affect the speed and endurance that the child writes. They might complain that they just don't want to do their handwriting assignments or also it can affect their handwriting and how their letters look, how they're, how they're able to freely move their fingers to create their letters and numbers. So it's really important to really focus on proper pencil holding right from the beginning. Now you don't really want to talk to one or two year olds um, about holding their pencil correctly because that may discourage them. You really want to do this in a gentle way. More so when the child is like four years old, you want to start really teaching how to hold a pencil correctly. Before that, you want to let the children hold the pencil as they're naturally comfortable. Um, so now I'm going to bring the camera closer to show you how to, to teach children to hold the pencil correctly using a tripod grip. Let me bring the camera a little closer. Okay, so the first thing to teach children on how to hold a pencil correctly is to get their hands out and leave three fingers up by tucking two away, just like this. And then tell them to make an alligator mouth, like this. This is called the tripod grip. Little alligator mouth, I call it. And then have them put the pencil in between the mouth here, like this. This is called the tripod grip. This is how you hold the pencil correctly. The other two fingers keep tucked away. With time, it starts looking more like this. This finger starts being down here for some people. Just um, something that they do out of comfort. So this is it. This is the tripod grip. This is what you want your children to hold their pencil when they're writing. Also, one thing to note is you don't want them to hold the pencil up here up here. You want them to hold it by the edge of the paint, by the edge of the paint, so they can have good pencil control. Now, round pencils are the hardest to start writing with, so I like getting this triangular, I don't know if you can see good here, this triangular pencils, and I like them because they have a triangular base, so the child more naturally is going to go towards the tripod grip to be able to hold the pencil and it's going to be so much easier than a round pencil. Now, if your children are having a lot of trouble, I really recommend this pencil grip. This is the only one that has worked for us over the years. It forces the child to hold the pencil correctly. They have to place the little finger in here and the other finger here and just automatically they're going to be holding their pencil correctly at all times. Like the pencil just keeps your hand in that position at all times. It doesn't move. So it's very good practice and this is what my four-year-old has been using. I'm going to show her using it in just a minute. It is so helpful because now when she's not using this, she tends now to go to using the, to holding the pencil correctly. More, she was going like this before. You want your children not to write like this or like this or like this, or even like this, is wrong. Even like this is wrong. Um, once they get into the habit of writing a certain way, it's very hard to break it. So you want to train them on how to use it. And this is a good tool, and I'm gonna link it below in the description box. 
Only bad thing is that it took about two weeks to get to me, but there's so many in the market. But this is the one that I found that has worked the best for us. Let me show you my four-year-old using it. Okay, Iris, can you show us how you used to like holding your pencil before? And can you trace some of the use over there like that? Like this? Yeah, that's like how you like using it. Yes. That's how she used to hold her pencil. Show us, Iris. Like that. Can you can you write some letters like that? So this is the way that Iris used to like writing, holding her pencil like this, with a fist. Iris, can you show us now the way that I taught you with the um, tripod grip with your alligator fingers? Show us right here in the camera. Show us your alligator fingers. Yes, can you make a little mouth like this? Yes. Okay, can you hold the pencil like that now? This one? Put it right between your, your hands, your little alligator mouth. Let's trace some of those U's over there. Okay. Now, I want to show you the other pencil that we were using that a lot of you were asking about. That is this one here. Iris, go ahead and put your finger through there. And you want to put your hand right there. Okay, see how it, it has her hold it like that? With the, with, it automatically has her have the, um, the tripod grip, which is amazing. You have your other two fingers tucked away, and these are the three that you're using right there, Iris. These three are the ones you're using, okay? Okay, go ahead and, go ahead and trace some letters like that. So it's great because it really keeps the child holding the pencil correctly for the time that they're holding the pencil. You always want to tell them to make sure they keep the other two tucked away. Let me see, Iris. Let me see how you're tucking the other two away. Turn the hand around so that they can see. Yes, just like that. Very good. Now, you want to make sure, Iris, that you keep this finger right over here. Right over here with the... Yes, right on the side there. Okay, go ahead. Keep on writing. This is a matter of just continual practice and showing the child how to hold the pencil correctly. It really just becomes a habit after a while. It really, really does. And the child will eventually get it. So, keep on. Iris, can we write your name here now? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, Iris, now we're going to use the other pencil to write your name. Let's use this pencil now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's give you another piece of paper. Now, we want to hold the pencil the right way, okay? With your alligator grip, with your tripod grip, like the way, yes. Hold it by the edge of the paint. Now, this child is, is just learning, so I want to just show you. This is like a real example. Can you write your name? Oh, you're drawing a person? Okay. Let me see how the other two fingers are tucked away. Yes, very good. I hope you guys got a good example today on how to hold your pencil correctly, how to teach your children your young children how to hold their pencil correctly. I will link this little <laughs> pencil grip below since a lot of you guys wanna know where I got it and I will also link below where I get my triangular pencils. Iris, thank you so much for sharing with us. Bye bye, honey.